Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great night tonight. Tonight I want to show you how to do a voiceover in Shotcut. So it's a fairly simple process uh, and I'm just going to go over those few steps here right now. Now I already have a video, I uh, threw in a few different videos and I'm going to just do a simple voiceover to give you an example here today. Now the first thing you have to do is go up to File and go to Open Other. When you click on Open Other, I'm on a Windows operating machine here tonight. Uh, I'm going to go to Direct Show, and this is my audio input. I'm going to drop down right here, and I'm going to pick my Logitech uh, Brio here. Uh, I have two different microphones on right now, but I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to hit OK on it. I'm just going to turn off my speakers here so I don't get that feedback, but you can see right now nothing's being recorded, but it is picking up my voice just what I wanted to do. So the next step what I need to do is now that I got my line in is go over to export right up here and I'm going to click on export and I want to be able to export this as an audio file so you could use WAV or MP3, uh, your choice of different ones. I'm just going to use a WAV on this one. So I'm going to type in WAV right here and you can see it comes right up. Double click on it and I get it into WAV format. Uh, I have capture file all ready to go. One thing to note is if you go down and take your playhead and move it a little bit, notice uh, what happened there is that it went back to export. It's lost its video uh, audio import. So you just go back and then you have to make sure you pick it again like so. So I'm going to go ahead and hit capture here right away and uh, I, then I'm going to get my playhead in place and I'll hit play. So there might be a little extra recording but you can edit this out after and line things up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit capture and then I have to give it a name so I'll just call this test audio and I've done this a few times here. Save. So right now this is recording. I'm just going to move my playhead back to the where I want it to start recording. I'm going to hit my play and start doing my voiceover right here. So the earth is rotating. Uh, we have the sun in the right hand uh, corner. We're going to go zoom up to a beautiful beach here with palm trees on a calm day with a nice gentle waves approaching the beach here. Uh, looking that it might turn into something that where people could surf on and you could go on and on and on doing your voiceover but I won't do too much here. And I'm going to stop my capture now by clicking here. So when I hit my stop capture, I'm going to just pause this. I'm going to turn up my mic to see if you guys can hear this here. So I'll just turn, I mean, I'll turn up my volume and I'll hit play. To the where I want it to start recording, I'm going to hit my play. So this is my voice over right here and I want to bring it back down into here. So what I have to do is create an audio track for this. So I'm just going to right click and add an audio track. And what I can do with this I can drag it right into the audio track now. So once it's in the audio track, uh, I can, I'll just go back and hit play. This is recording. I'm just going to move my playhead back. So you, everything was recorded. Maybe I didn't want that first part at first. But what I can do is go and just simply, and I'm going to have my playhead here. I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to go split it playhead. Maybe I didn't want this first part here. So I could go, I'm going to remove this and I could adjust the rest of it to line up where exactly I want it to. And so you could do those cuts and or split them and move them to the appropriate places after too. So, and then you just go through and do your normal export as a movie, but that's how you do a voiceover using Shotcut. Just to remember a couple of those things, if you move that playhead first, it will uh, lose that connection to your audio and you just ha might have to reconnect it. Uh, other than that, it should work pretty, uh, pretty good for you. Hope you like this tip for using Shotcut tonight shotcut tonight if you have please hit that subscribe button on my channel because i'll give you other tips on shotcut and other free video editors uh, thanks for watching this week and i'll see you next time